hardest thing about being a teacher is being able to continuously find new ways to keep the students inspired, you know. My name is Daniel. I'm 28 years old. I'm from the U.S., from Texas. I've been in Vietnam for about four years and I've been teaching English for over six years already. And I've been a teacher here at ET for over two years already. Well, to be honest, that's a hard question. And I think that changes as I'm getting more experience as a teacher. But I feel like right now the hardest thing about being a teacher is being able to continuously find new ways to keep the students inspired, you know, because learning a new language is very difficult. And it's not like learning any other subject, like you have to be knowledgeable about different uh, areas of your life and different things. So being able to come up with different ideas and ways to motivate students, it's quite challenging, you know? Yeah, I, I think a lot, that's why I'm a teacher. But I would say the most important thing that brings me joy is uh, seeing some students improve and becoming better even when they don't realize and they don't think so i can see their progress because i teach them every day you know and i can realize when they're becoming better at english which is their goal so um helping someone realize their their goals and achieve their dreams it's very fulfilling and the biggest joy of being a teacher in my opinion yes um i mean i guess this advice is very common but i have two the first one would be, of course, practice, 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 you know, practice makes perfect, perfect. And, you know, if you want to become better at English, you need to practice not only here at ET, but you have to go out there and, you know, immerse yourself in English and in any way possible. And number two, and most important, of course, don't give up, you know, some students, they want to uh, be fluent in one year or six months. And when they don't achieve this goal, they just give up and stop learning English, you know, but in my opinion, learning, especially learning a language, is a lifelong journey. And you cannot just um, learn it in six months or one year. You have to continue to learn. So don't give up. It's difficult, but you can do it as long as you practice and keep doing it.